Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, it's fall and I have my fall earrings. They're actually from Shein and very cheap, but I love having these kind of earrings just to make this video more interesting or more like fall. But we are here today to try and wear the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care. I'm going to wear this the whole day. We're going to have a wear test. I do have oily skin, so combination skin, we'll see how this is going to work on me. But also we are here to try the new palette from Pat McGrath. This is the Celestial Odyssey, 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 I can't pronounce it, but this is the palette that's released for holidays. And I have the one from last year. We are going to compare it a little bit. And we are going to wear this foundation the whole day. So if you're interested to see my thoughts, then please keep on watching. So I did zoom you in a little bit here because we are going to concentrate on eyes and the foundation. Now, if you are here just to see the palette, we are going to start with it. If you're here to see me play trying the foundation or you know putting it on the face i'm going to put the timestamps down below so you can skip the makeup look if you don't want to see that but we are going to do this later i am going to moisturize my skin i'm going to use this cream here i love pat mcgrath's eyeshadows and it's one of my favorite eyeshadow formula and i tried the new palette that it, they released just before this one and I don't think I have that on my channel yet, but it's going to be there on the channel. So if you want to see that, I've been having a lot of videos that I filmed that I didn't have time to edit, but there is always something new coming out that I want to, you know, show you before. But this is the outside packaging. It's kind of thicker than the last year's palette. And I love these kind of details. I'm not going to keep this outside packaging. I never do because I, I don't need it, but it's stunning to look at it look at and i'm going to put the link and information down below about this palette but let's open it out and immediately when i opened it i realized that this isn't really the same packaging like last year it's more sturdier it's thicker it feels a little bit better it feels more expensive the last year's packaging it's this one let's see compare it with the size you can see that it's a little bit bigger the new one it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit thicker and you can see how this one looks. It's just a cardboard kind of cheap looking and feeling. It has this one, this band here also when you open it. You can't flick it. You can see, you can't flick it the whole way back. But this is the eyeshadows and I've used this a lot. It's really a beautiful. Now I do get a lot of fallout with the shimmer shade, but it's nothing that actually bothers me. I just wipe it off as much as I can and use a lot of concealer but this is the new packaging and it does have exactly like the last year shades on the back the name of the shades and yeah I mean it looks much better it still has let's open it it have like a magnet closure which is a little bit better than the last year so it does feel much more expensive and much better quality than last year's palette but it still has these bands here. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't actually care. But this is how the palette looks like and we are going to create the makeup look. And I'm definitely going to create more makeup looks with this palette on my channel, but I do want to try it out today because I can have my hands away from this palette. Let's prime my, let's prime the eyes. And I'm using some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to set my eyeshadow primer just because I always do. And it that will kind of make the matte shades not as pigmented or less pigmented. I think when you use wet base, the eyeshadow kind of sticks to it a little bit better and shows uh, truth shades or more, how to say it? They look more pigmented, the shades, but uh, that doesn't hold on my eyes for a very long time. And when I set my base, eyeshadow base, 
I see and I found my eyeshadow to wear longer. So that's the only reason why, because I, otherwise I will look creasy and my eyeshadow will disappear and crease a lot and be like a mess. I'm going to set it with Believe Beauty Powder. I got this from my friend Valerie and honestly, this is, has to be my favorite, what it's called, the um, powder for setting my base because I realized that my eyeshadows were much, much longer with this powder than any other powder that I've used. And trust me, I've used a lot. And this doesn't exist in Sweden, so I'm so happy to have this here. And I don't know if you tried anything from this brand and you live in the US, you have to because it's they have some really good products. Okay, I could actually wear the Pat McGrath's foundation. I tried it and as more and more as I use it, I like it more and more. So I did like it for the first time I've used it and reviewed it on my channel. I think I will try to remember to leave that video up here, but it wasn't nothing, it wasn't anything special, but as I'm using it more and more, I can actually feel that like it's kind of really good. Let's open this baby and it feels a little bit heavier. Oh, let's remove this. Such satis satisfying to see my mess here in front of me. Okay, oh, I love the mirror, it's so beautiful. I am going to go into this shade here, I think it's called Sunrose Amber, and have it in my crease. They only have, I think, four matte shades, and it's, you can see, kickback. I want, I'm going to try as many shades as possible, but still make this look, makeup look, look wearable. This is pigmented and it's blending like butter. So this shade is kind of blending as Pat McGrath's eyeshadows do. I am, didn't read the, the ingredients list, so I don't know if it's exactly the same formula. Uh, some people said the last year's was not the same form formula, some people's was, but they didn't like the packaging. For me, it worked fine. I love all of the shades. I couldn't see any big difference and I thought it was worth the money. So for me, it worked. And if you're interested to know more about the ingredients, let me know. I can check it out, but I'm not going to do this video too long because the truth is actually how it works on the eyes. I know if you can hear my sons talking, laughing and, and coughing, they're sick, they're playing games with each other, so they're loud. Sorry for that. Okay, I uh, do want to go into this shade here that's called Ele Electricu, Ele Electricu. I'm going to destroy these names with my English. So the mats are having some kickback and they are a little bit powdery. These are blending nice. They are blending into each other, but still you can see that's two different shades on the eyes, which means they are not going to look muddy. Okay, I'm going to go into this darkest matte shade up here that we have, that it's called Saturn Sunset. Saturn Sunset? Yeah, well. Let's just go with this dark brown. Ooh, I love this. This dark brown is very pigmented. I wasn't really ready for that, but it does look really good. So as far as I know, these are blending like a dream. I really, really like these shades. Okay, so I am going to go and use my finger. And I do want to go into this shade here that it's, I think it's called Catherine Envy with my finger. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, wow. I don't want to put anything else on top, but we are going to do. Oh, look at this shade. Finally, I, I, I was looking for this kind of shade in other palettes. I do have brown shades but this had the perfect undertone and the perfect dark pigment and the perfect bright exactly as I was hoping for 
And I do have plenty of brown eyeshadows, but this is really something special. I'm just going back to this and um, blending the edges without adding, adding more shades. Mm, do I want to go on top with something? Do we do need to try more shades, but I don't want to destroy this makeup look. Yeah, well, let's go in with this shade. I think, do I want to go with this shade? This here? Yes, it does have that brown undertone. So this is the Rose Venus. I'm gonna place this in the center. Ooh. It that did brighten up this. Oh, they're working so nice. Well, like that. I'm not going to put too much because I do like this brown tone. So I feel like I just lied. I told you that I'm going to use many shades. But I actually don't want to use so many shades because I do like how it looks right now. I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is from uh, Cash Beauty. I, I used Morphe and Jacqueline Hill and Cash Beauty's eyeshadows, eyeshadow brushes. I'm going into this shade that's called Heavenly Body. Heavenly Body. That's an interesting name. That's like a champagne shade. Um, oh, that's this is bright. I like that. And I'm going to use my Ziaya lifting solution, a really nice eye serum. So, for the primer, we are going to go in with the Milk Hydro Primer just because it's one of the best primers that I know. And apply this all over the face. I should maybe remove this for now so we actually can work around them. So it's sticky and nice. Let's go with the foundation. Okay. ET Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare. I tried their foundations before and I didn't like them, but this is something that really. And uh, what my interest, interest because it says better looking skin instantly and over time. Instantly better. Natural, no makeup, makeup effect. Coverage that minimizes pores and imperfections. It's exactly what I need. I want a foundation that doesn't look like a foundation and that it's going to minimize my huge, huge pores and imperfections. And it says all day hydration and wear. Now I have oily skin and combination skin, so. I said oily and combination. Medium coverage, natural radiant finish. I don't like luminous foundations, but I do, do like natural radiant. It says it means they're not as shimmery as luminous. This is light neutral 22 that I have here. And I actually swatched this in a store, asked a girl for help to help me choose shades. And she did. So. I'm going to use my makeup store. I don't know what this is called, but shaking definition. Always forget, but it's very important. What do you think about my background? Do you like it? I think it looks cute. Okay, let's go in. Oh, it doesn't spread evenly. That's weird. So, I'm going to use a sponge and let's go. This is a really good shade for me. Oh wow. This side looks really good. You can see this part of my house foundation and it does look my skin but better so I'm going to go in with more I'm going to go and have some more foundation this doesn't spread foundation evil it kind of spreads it out and I need to be careful and not have my clothes work clothes on when I'm going to work when I get re getting ready because I will get foundation on it and it's not so easy to remove if you have got my foundation stains, you know how hard it is to remove. 
Oh, I'm loving this shade. This is perfect shade for me. Okay, so this is looking really good. It does give me that nice, uh, radiant, glowy look. Maybe a little bit too glowy, more glowy than I would like. But we will mattify that with some powder. And it does look really, really good on my skin. I actually really like how this is looking on my skin. Pores, yeah, a little bit less visible, but still visible, so don't expect magic. I didn't even apply any minimizing uh, primer or pore minimizing. Okay, we are going to go in with cream product before we go in with powder. Concealer, I'm going to go in with Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tip. I have it in this small size. This is shade 22N, also number 22. And I'm also going to use Cash Beauty's Cream Bronzer in shade Shady Beach. It's actually one of my favorite cream bronzers. So cream products are blending very nice on top of it. It did kind of uh, dry down, so it does look more mattified than before. Okay, we are going to go in with the cream blush, and it's the shade Love Language from Cash Beauty. It's the red one, and I think it was perfect with this makeup look. Loving this cream blush. And yes, we are going heavy with it. So let's blend. So I'm going to set my concealer because I feel if we don't do that, it's going to just crease more. So I'm going to go in with the Belize Beauty Powder and it does make my concealer look a little bit darker, but we are going to make it brighter. I, this really keeps my makeup in place. I really like this powder. Minimize my pores too. Going in with Jaclyn Hill powder, brightening pink. So this looks like my skin and it does look really good on the nose too. Uh, I can just need to have some more powder sinking in. It, it's definitely medium coverage, so you can see some imperfection on my nose, but it looks really good. I'm going to use Cash Beauty's brush, highlighter, nah, so so and Kayla brush, uh, highlighter brush, and I'm going to go in with Cash Beauty's Angel Energy highlighter. Love going in with the brush. I do want to go finish my makeup look or eye look and then I'm going to go off camera and apply some mascara, some eyebrow products and lashes so we don't make this video a little bit too long. But I am going to go back in this palette and let's... The foundation looks really good. It's actually, let me show you what time it is. It's 11.39 so we had this foundation for around 9 minutes. Uh, so 11.30 and let's go in with this brush from Jack and Hila Morphe number 40 hmm. and I do want to go in with the shade that we didn't use. Uh, I do want to go in with this shade here. I think it's called the no, Nutri... No, 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 nocturne? No, nocturne? 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 This one here. Yeah, me and the names. Oh, this is blending really nice. I love how this makeup looks look. This brown shade is so beautiful. I feel like this shade that I tried are so pigmented, really easy to work with. No problem at all. I'm going to go in with a small angled brush and go in with this darkest brown shade that we had. Just line 
here. Not the whole way, but I'm going to go with a smaller brush and go with this shade that we had before here in the corner and just brighten up. Here, I'm going to apply the same um, shimmery that we're applying right now under my eyebrow bone here, but after finishing the eyebrows. This is the eye look, and I'm going to finish the rest of the makeup. This is the face. I love the foundation. It looks so good on my skin. I love it. I'm going to go in with my new favorite setting spray. This is the Kaya Cosmetics, Kaya Cosmetics That Extra Hour. I reviewed it in one of the videos. I think it's not up yet. So if you see me using this for the first time, I say for the first time, in another video after this one is because I forgot to edit it before. So. Mm. Such a nice mist and it smells really good. I love my skin. So I'm going to go off camera, finish my makeup look and I'll be right back. Okay, okay, my beautiful family, we are back. So I just want to tell you, on my eyes, I do have the <laughs> the Just Beauty Lash Up Rising Mascara, some Demi Whisper, Whispers from Ardell, that I actually used the new, where is the, where is it? I just lost, I have the package here. The new Ardell Brush on Strip Lash Achiever that's see-through, actually, here it is. Let me show you. This is how it looks. I got this from my friend Valerie and I really love this achiever. I love brush-ons. I don't like these kind of tubes. So this is a really good. And I don't like the white, even if the white lash glue, because it's. I just st still think it looks kind of weird on the lashes, even if it kind of dries down completely invisible. I just uh, still feel like I can see it. But also, I don't like the black one. But this one, see, this one that's kind of without any color is really good. Though, if you have sensitive eyes, I don't know if you're going to like it because when I was applying, I felt like it was a little bit minty. It had a strong scent too, more than other eyeshadows, glues. But it also had, gave me some sensation on my eyes, not burning. I definitely love it. I'm going to use it and also repurchase it because I really like how easy it was. Look at my hair. It's too messy. Sorry, guys. Need, it, need to wash it, need to wash my hair. Uh, I just love how easy it was to apply, how it holds my lashes, and I'm definitely going to repurchase. So Valerie, if you watch this video, I need more of this. Don't buy, buy me because I don't, I haven't seen this here in Sweden. So if you come across this one, buy one more. I love it. Okay, on my lips, I do have the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. Uh, pencil. I do also have Cash Beauty's Lipstick in shade Veil, Veil, and also the Cash Beauty's Lip Gloss in shade Starlight. And also, what do I have more that I didn't show you on? Uh, yes, I do have the Sigma Eyebrow Powder and also the Believe Beauty Eyebrow Styling Gel, gel in Dark Brown. Yeah, that's what I have on my face that you haven't seen me applying. Let's go and talk about the foundation. It's now 12.03 and I've been having it on for 30 minutes and I love how it looks on my skin. It looks perfect. It does look more like a dry foundation. It's because I applied a lot of powder, but I love this look. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy. I hope it will last also all day. So we're going to try it out at least for eight hours. And I also want to talk about the eyeshadow palette. If you haven't had a chance to purchase it, if you can afford, I think this is really good palette. I'm in love with this makeup look. It's, it's one of my favorite makeup looks that I've created very fast. I didn't know what to create when I was going into this palette, but I really love how everything looks. I can't even open it. That, this magnet is really strong. I love that. I dropped this palette two times now, and I was so nervous to open it, but everything looks good uh, still. Every shade is in here. I love this palette, and I think I like it a little bit more than the one from last year, but this, is, this was definitely my favorite palette. Um, I love these shades. Love, love these shades. And I don't think they have, I don't know if they have the same shades 
here let me say compare the shades major now I they don't actually the names are not the same I know if the shades are the same if you want me to compare these two and swatch them bit and next to each other let me know sorry if you can hear my kids screaming they're playing Fortnite together with their friends and they're really loud but this is how they look next to each other so they go really nice together I think there you can use both of them to kind of create the special makeup look and I think I can't see any repeats but you, if you want me to swatch some of the shades next to each other you can definitely I can I will definitely do that but I don't think they are is this matte these matte shades maybe look really close to this shade but not really yeah let me know down below if you want to see the swatches from this palette i will definitely film more makeup looks fall makeup looks because because this fall makeup look is beautiful and the foundation so far looks amazing and also kind of looks almost as good as if not even better than catrice and better than Rimmel that I just reviewed, that I reviewed not for long ago on my channel. But I think this looks amazing on my skin. I think I like it even more how it looks than the Pat McGraths. Love Pat McGrath. I love it. But if I get can get this makeup, this last, it's amazing. This is an amazing product so far. I'm really happy how everything looks. Okay, I'm so happy with my makeup. So I'm going to go with my day film some unboxing unboxes Christmas calendars I have plenty of Christmas calendars to open and I really love this makeup so I'm going to change um, my earrings and go film that and if you want to see me unboxing many Christmas calendars don't forget to subscribe to my channel I have plenty coming glossy box goodie box makeup makeup yeah they are coming here so stay on my channel for that if you want to see more makeup looks and unboxing and guys see you in seconds but actually it will take hours yeah well see you hi beautiful i'm back and it's nine o'clock almost nine five minutes to nine or 50 minutes 50 minutes to nine and i haven't touched up anything i didn't touch i did touch my face a lot because i was editing my videos i did a couple of unboxing videos or advent calendar of unboxing and i touched my face a lot and this is <laughs> moving around but let's talk about the foundation let's talk about this foundation what do we think after nine hours I really like I do look shiny uh, but in real life it doesn't look that shiny I think right now when you watch this video I look more shiny than maybe I am because the, these lights are really hitting my face and you know showing everything but my blush my bronzer is left my pores are still not so visible the foundation just wanna a little bit here and the nose because I was um, rubbing my nose like this and uh, removing the foundation so it does remove like look it's removing when I touch my nose of course uh, because the oils came through so it kind of just slides away but that happens with all of the foundations that are wearing because I do have very oily t-zone so that, that I'm very dry on the, the eyes but my t-zone is like I don't know really really early but I really like this foundation I think it's a new favorite and I've tried a couple of foundation these couple of uh, weeks and this is also one of my favorite foundations I think even it worked a little bit be uh, worked better than the what is called the Pat McGrath foundation and it's cheaper than Pat McGrath foundation but I definitely recommend this and the eyeshadow, look, it's still there. It start creasing just a little bit here. Just a little bit here. And like I said, this, this palette is a dream. Love it, love it, love it a lot. And this powder, the Lay Beauty, makes my eyeshadow stay on for a little bit longer. The bronze and blush that I've used before really like. Everything looks good. Not good, but it looks okay. I'm not sad or mad that it's oily i love it i love this foundation i definitely recommend it 
definitely recommend it. So guys, that was everything for today. Let me know down below what do you want me to try next. Is there any foundation or something on, for the face that you really want me to try out? Let me know down below. Also, let me know if you try this foundation, what, what do you think about it? And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. But it's late, I need to remove this and um, go watch a movie or continue editing and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!